every four years we get to do two things. We elect our next president and pay way more attention than we really want to to the International Olympics. I'll refrain for the time being commenting on the U.S. electoral process. But the Olympics, well, this year has been fun. World records have been falling like October leaves and something has struck me. We love winners. We know the names like legendary baseball players, Michael Phelps, Usain Bolt, both rumored to be worth around $60 million, by the way. But there's also the tiny country of Fiji winning the seven-man rugby gold medal, and who can forget Ginny Thrasher? Who, you ask? Ginny Thrasher won this year's first gold medal for the United States in the 10-meter air rifle event. Yes, BB guns. Another winner. And how about the next generation of endorsement magnets, Katie Ledecky, who finished so far ahead of her competition in the 800 freestyle that no one can even find another swimmer in the picture. And a young Singaporean, Joseph Schooling, who met and idolized Michael Phelps as a child and then beat him in this year's 100-meter butterfly. What did all these athletes have in common? A sheer joy in their accomplishment. It didn't matter that one of them was worth $60 million dollars, and the other was, well, just getting started. At the finish line, pure joy. Ginny Thrasher sums it up best. She says, I think I knew it was realistic for me to make finals, but I was not focused on that. I was focusing on just shooting the best that I could, and that got me there. It's a human feeling I think we all pursue, a joy and accomplishment. I also saw joy in the faces of folks who only won silver or bronze or who struggled across the finish line in eighth place. How can that be? They knew they'd done their absolute best. The magic ingredient. Well, great satisfaction can come from winning a race. Many can win a race without doing their best, wanting it more, or giving 100%. And for professionals, well, that frequently pays the bills. But joy. Pure joy, explosive joy, comes from knowing I've done my absolute best, given it everything I've got. I recall Don Miguel Ruiz's four agreements, and the fourth of which is, always do your best. It's that simple. Want joy? Do your best. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.